Hello everybody, welcome back to NCAA Football 14, Wake Forest Team of Deacon Dynasty. Now, we're not playing a game because the Elgato, when I wanted to record it, went all funky, it couldn't work for like an hour and a half, so I thought, hey, why not just do this the day later, and instead of rushing and not getting the best quality I could get out of the video, we're just going to do this, and the next time out, we will play Notre Dame, but let's get into it, guys. We're going to look at stats. We're going to look at everything. You guys know the drill. Notre Dame, they are, they are third in the nation at 9-1. Wake Forest, 3-7. and seven. You have to win six games to become bowl eligible. Wake Forest has two left, and there's a small chance we could get in. There's an even larger chance we're going to miss. But with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at our score and schedules and see how we got here. Week 13 is upon us, but for the Demon Deacons, it started early. Two bye weeks, a loss, two or one win, one loss, win, loss, loss, win, loss. That pattern continued until here. Three losses, Maryland, Syracuse, and then the heartbreaker against Florida State. But we have Boston College and Notre Dame left, and they're both away games. So we need support. We need five wins if we can get it. Let's take four wins. I know it's not the best, but hey, neither is Wake Forest. We're trying our hardest, though. So with that said, conference standings, there you can see we are dead last only because the conference play were one in six. Yes, we could have beat FSU. Yes, we could have beat NC State. Yes, we could have beat Maryland. That would give us four wins and put us right there at the top. But instead, mistakes carried us over. And as a result of a winless division so far this year, Boston College being the last one, it's going to be interesting. So now, time to take a look at the top 25 and see what we're focusing on on next year year four into 2016 top 25 though first ucla and ohio bobcats not ohio state ohio right now your front runners for the bcs national championship ucla 11 and 0 they did really well last year it's good to see them doing even better this year for ohio no one saw it coming to two-star school well, how about we take a look at their schedule. Let's see how they got here. Idaho, Marshall, Minnesota. Not really. Miami, U, Zips, UMass. Again, not really. Buffalo, EMU, WMU, and NIU. Their schedule's not the best. It's really not. No one has seven plus wins. The best thing on there is Marshall at six and four. And NIU at six and four. Kent State and Old Dominion 1 and 19 combined. I don't know how they got there, but um, yeah, I, I can't tell you. So if you think you know how they got there, leave it in the comments. Otherwise, congratulations, Bobcats from Ohio. Let's move on. Time to focus in on year four because this year really did not go as last year. Making a bowl game, even though we lost, we still made a bowl game as Wake Forest. So that's pretty good. So, where are we going next year in 2016? Well, we're looking at recruiting, definitely. This team needs a lot of it. Game management, not so much. We do have three of three on the first Road Warrior quarterback shot on the road, but it just hasn't seemed like it, so... It's there, but it's not. Offense coordinator, we're focusing here on the air traffic control. We're looking for receiving matchups. We're looking for better throws out of Cameron. We're looking for up-tempo. And then on defense, it's easily up-tempo or recharge, as they call it. You got to stay healthy, fatigue less, because a lot of these teams do run no huddle. Very hard to keep up. We're working on the shutdown and no-fly zone. Basically, lock down your receivers. 
linebackers, lockdown, the halfback or the tight end, anywhere you can get. So we're looking at recruiting and big time defense. Job security. Well, we're at 76 because of our performance so far. It's low security. Our lowest is Pittsburgh. And one year at Pittsburgh, so far he's 7 and 15. We're two years awake, 14 and 21. If we take a look at the highest easily, it's James Willis's first year at Vatek. And he's 7 and 3. So yeah, I think that's pretty good. We were safe, but as you can see, a lot of these guys know what they're doing. Winning records all throughout. Don't know how Jimbo Fisher is safe for now. I guess they won an undefeated season every year. But, um, yeah. Let's go on to some stats. Now, stats, we're quickly going to go over. I'm not going to go over this. We're going to go over season stats just for Wake Forest. And our passing, well, we're not going to look at rating. We're going to look at yards. Tyler Cameron, 202 out of 300 for 2,473 yards. The guy out of Altamont Springs, Florida. 14 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, averaging 247 a game. He's 67 percentage completion. That's very good. Averaging about 12. He's been sacked 43 times, though. That's not good. In the rushing department, DeAndre Martin. 179 attempts, 848 yards. He could very easily crack 1,000 with Boston College, but we need him to have a solid day in Notre Dame. 11 touchdowns, 53 is his longest run, and he's averaging 85. In the receiving, it's DeAndre Martin with the most catches, then Anthony Rook, then Aaron Willis, Sherman Raglan, Jonathan Williams, Tyree Harris. And then down here, Brandon Turner, fullback. Don't expect anything out of him. Brendan O'Neill, backup tight end. Desmond Wortham, backup halfback. So, who has the most touchdowns? Well, if we hit X, Sherman Raglan at 6, Aaron Willis, Anthony Rook at 4 each. They have been coming in strong. We need more touchdowns out of these guys, and they know it. Tyree Harris really don't feed him the ball. 10 catches. And if we look at receptions, you can see Willis and Raglan and Jonathan Williams share the wealth. But Tyree Harris not getting any love down at 10. So with that said, guys, goof on the Elgato. Couldn't get to her for an hour and a half. So today, might as well do it. Uh, I don't want to give you a crappy episode. I want to give you the best episode I can possibly with Elgato and college football. And all the physics of college football. You guys know that uh, physics on here are not the best. But we go through it. We do go through it. So guys... Hopefully you enjoyed. Once again, sorry about this episode. Didn't really plan on it. I know you're probably tired of seeing these episodes. But, again, on plan. Can't really do anything about it. Guys, creating a second channel. Just going to throw this in there. Creating a second channel called The Gaming Hut. One word, capital T, capital G, capital H. It's not live yet, but if you want to go subscribe to this channel and also that channel... There will be a link in the description below. Thank you.